Wizard Fu here. This is another video in the Load Ragger 5 vs. 5 game development series. What I'm working on now is being able to complete a match. So the whole goal of uh, Load Ragger is to steal the other team's lodestone and drag it back to your base. That's how you get a win. Um, so now you can actually steal a lodestone, drag it back to your base, and win. And all the things in between. So let's check out how that all works. <clears throat> okay, so starting off, you start off as rollless. And in the rollless, all you have is one ability you can block. So I'm using the block skill right there. I'm going to block enough. Uh, each one of these blocks <clears throat> gains me some experience points. And as I level up the rollless roll, I can become an arch ragger. There we go. Now I'm an arch ragger. An arch ragger basically just enables you to be able to drag a lodestone. Um, you can't drag your own lodestone though, of course. Um, <clears throat> so what you would do here in a normal game is you would go and chop your way through the trees, go find the, the middle of the... Uh, let's, let's just speed up and enable god mode for the purpose of keeping this video short enough. But anyways, you would find your... You would basically, you know, dig your way, chop your way through the, carve your lanes, and uh, find your way to the enemy team's side. And the enemy team will have gone and probably chopped their own way and designed their own lanes for their side of the match. And uh, then you would go and build some bridges. So I'm gonna turn off. Got whoa, stuck in the trees. Let's kill this guy. You would then go and build some bridges. So the bridge is. Uh, that one that builds a bridge across water and um but then you would go and, and you would uh if you want to switch back to rollless or arch ragger there's this new building right here where you can touch this and it sells back your current weapon and you become a rollless or an arch ragger if you uh uh have leveled up enough so let's go and just skip all basically we would have chopped our way through the trees built the bridges across the water and gotten ourselves to this side of the match uh, but we're just going to cheat. <clears throat> now that uh, I'm an arch ragger, I can steal the lodestone. And let's see, god mode. I'm going to go back into god mode. Just to quickly get back here across the whole screen. Walking through the trees like a ghost. Okay, god mode disabled. And then as soon as I get near this lodestone, it's just going to basically reset the match. So there you go. That was a win. That was technically a win. The game recognized that the, you, that the other team's lodestone was near your lodestone's original position, and that triggers the victory and resets the match. So, <clears throat> all of those mechanics are now in place, and technically this game can be beat. This is pretty cool. So, <clears throat> I mean, a match can be played out. Victory can be obtained. Defeat also. So, the next thing I'm going to do, the things I'm going to do next week are basically start implementing AI for players so my team will actually have four other different players who will hopefully do some smart stuff and then the other team will be full of five other players they will hopefully be doing some smart stuff carving out their lanes and making this an interesting match so that's going to be exciting next week i'll be actually making it so there'll be two teams it's pretty sweet so uh once again this is a 2d gameplay mock-up this is the game is actually going to be a three-dimensional pixel art uh, but for now, I'm just mocking up entirely gameplay so that I can focus. So let's take a look at some of the code. Um, using the drag is uh, basically part of the input system. It recognizes that the arch ragger has the drag ability. And when the drag ability is used, it goes and um, looks for a lodestone that's nearby. It finds any eids with the name Lodestone, loops over them, tests which team they are, so it can't be your team, and then tests how far you are away from that, and if you're close enough when you use a drag skill, then it starts dragging, and you become slower too. Half is fast. So you're, um, so when you drag a Lodestone, it's a really slow process. You need to have your teammates there to help you, protect you while you're doing this. So this is kind of a team effort. Um, and then when you release the drag button, it stops dragging, puts you back to normal speed, and there you go. So, and then inside move system, what, what it does is it, it, uh, it's, it sets a move, part of the um, player's move component is a drag eid, and that drag eid is the eid for the lodestone. And inside the move system, if it has the drag eid, then it actually moves the lodestone whenever the player moves. So um, here is 
basically it takes the player's position, um, goes the opposite of the player's heading times the drag distance, so it puts it right behind the player, however the player is currently moving, and then sets that drag entity's position or the load zone's position right there. And then it goes and tests if there's a victory. So vic it has a turn victory distance, finds the load markers, those are the, those are the original positions of where your load zone was or the other team's load zone was, checks the team, checks the distance, and if it's close enough, then that triggers the victory, which basically just destroys um, all of the entities, resets the tick, uh, clears the input system, etc., and then constructs another match. So there you have it. Those are the elements for putting together um, the basic gameplay of Loadragger. Five versus five, your team's five players carve out your lanes, build buildings, change different roles during the match. The other team does the same thing, and whoever gets the load zone, the other team's load zone back to their base wins. So um, that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.